Hey guys, it's Alex, and this is my second episode or part of my um, Road to Two Bill merching video. Um, it's sort of a disorganized video, or at least the way it's put together, but how I put it together was I show you uh, a few things that I bought first, and then uh, at the end I show you what I sell everything for and everything. Um, but basically, this is, this is a short video again. Um, I'm sorry for the length and everything, but... Uh, I'm, I'm finding it hard to come up with like a lot to show you for a merging video because basically all it is is me trading people and trying to get whatever they're selling for cheap and um, then I just have to wait like hours and hours for it to sell so I don't want to just show you guys like the boring waiting and everything um, but yeah anyway so what I bought in the first trade was two advanced or it was a coupon for two advanced enhanced scrolls um, and I got it for 5 mil, so that's 2.5 each, and they're at least 12 each, so that's a good good profit right there, um, of about 20 mil, give or take. Um, and then I just bought another coupon for two advanced potential scrolls for 2.5 each, um, and everything, whatever, good profit. Anyway, uh, one thing I have to tell you about merching is you have to deal with a lot of stupid people sometimes, like this guy right here. I'm not saying he's stupid, but he, he's a bitch and a half to trade with. Um, and there, a lot of people are like this. They're super skeptical and everything, um, and it's going to happen. But you, uh, one of the things that you can do to help merching, uh, to help your profit and everything, is learn how to talk to people and like what to say to get them to trade you. Um, that doesn't mean you need to lie to everybody and everything like that, but different people react differently to like uh, certain approaches to how you can get them to sell like make it easier for them to sell this guy he was short on cash and everything and blah 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 but I know he needed the books so I was assertive uh, kept my prices how they were and um, gave him the choice pretty much um, but he was still really annoying anyway um, as Kenny and I have said before well let me start with the the main goal of merching is buy low, sell high. Pretty much everybody knows that. That's how you make profit. Um, but the main, or I mean the uh, the first rule of merching is know your prices. Kenny and I, Kenny and I have said this before in a ton of videos. But you have to know your prices um, in order to buy low and sell high because obviously that's how you're going to spot your deals and everything. Um, one way you can learn prices, or at least the way that Kenny and I learn prices, is um, going through FM rooms and trying to find like or you just look at everything that's been sold and try to remember it like try to remember its price and everything um, that's not to say that if you go into an FM room and somebody sells Maple Warrior 30 for 20 mil that doesn't mean that it's 20 mil but um, the more you look and the more you're in the FM you'll see averages and prices and you can sort of spot a deal um, and then you have to decide how much profit you want to make and if you want to be stingy and everything but anyway so that's the first rule: know your prices, um, and you can you can learn prices by checking out FM rooms. And then also, I recommend making friends with people who know their prices, um, because a lot of times you'll get like a book. Like even still, I have to ask Kenny for book or for uh, skill book prices sometimes and everything. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. I'll give you guys more tips as these videos go along. That way, you're not just listening to me talk about exactly what you're watching. Um, but yeah, that's the first tip of this video, is know your prices. Um, and then right here, you can see sort of how I went about getting this guy um, to trade me. I was telling him that, <laughs> basically, I was telling him that there's a bunch of work gloves around right now that are 15 attack. He wanted 300 mil, I wanted to give him like 250, but he got me up to 285 anyway. Um, and he was still he was still being a douche about it. <laughs> But anyway, like you can say certain things to people to get them to trade. Uh, it depends on the person, but you can, throughout these videos, you'll probably see me uh, persuading people, so you can try to learn from that if you want to, um, and make sure you're watching high quality. But anyway, I just bought his gloves for 285 and I was tired of waiting, so I sold them to this guy for 330 That's a quick profit. Um, and then right here, I see Demon Cry 20 for 60 mil, and I know it's a little bit more than that, so went ahead and bought it even though I was I, I sort of had to think on it for a second but I bought it anyway 
Um, and basically, here is my what I what I made for the day. Um, total, I only profited about like a hundred mil for that day, but I still have a bunch of skill books to sell. Like, I sold Demon Cry twenty for eighty mil when I bought it for sixty and all that. Um, and then I sold Overswing and Advanced Blessing and all of that, so it's all good. Um, and then best item that I merged all day was this Varkit right here. Um, bought it for like, I don't know, 200k, and then Trey bought it for 100 mil. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> that was a joke if you couldn't tell. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll upload more videos of this later, and uh, that's that's pretty much it. So learn what you can, and uh, I'll try to make them longer in the future.